Hello. How are you feeling, princess? Nothing makes me happier than a smile from you, Peach. Well, tough luck. I'm in a very bad mood, you monster. You've imprisoned all the guests from the castle. You are the single greatest disaster to ever befall the Mushroom Kingdom. I'll tell you what, I'll smile when you make everything as it was before you showed up. Wah! Oh, that's rich. You know I didn't do that. That jerk Mario just beat the Koopa Bros and Tutu Koopa. Sure, they were complete whips. But they were still loyal to me. I can't forgive Mario for disrespecting me. I'm nipping this in the bud right now. I'm gonna going to use Invincible Tubba Bubba on it. He's the strongest creature I know after me. You'd best forget about Mario. Your nastiness. We have a problem. Why, Kami Koopa? What's got you so riled up? You look upset. Psst, psst, psst. What? The Star Spirit flew away from Tubba Bubba's castle? King Bowser, keep your voice down. Princess Peach will hear you. Mm, yes, right. Tell me the details over there. Twink, did you hear that? Yes, I sure did. The Star Spirit must have escaped. Did you hear him call that Tubba Bubba thing invincible? That doesn't sound good. Do you think Mario can win? We'd better try to find out about Tubba Blubba. If we could find anything, anything about a weak point, it might just save Mario. Good idea! Then there's no time to lose. We won't get anything done if we stay in this room. What's up, guys? Sleepy Jirachi here. We are already two minutes into the episode that I am just now introducing because of the intro dialogue nonsense. Welcome to Paper Mario. In the last episode, we did indeed take down two Koopa, as Bowser said. Um, so basically, in this episode, we are just going to get towards the next star. Peach can't jump, which is totes lame. Oh boy! See if Bowser has his diary over here? Not anymore. Not anymore, he took it away. Alright, so, um... There are still guards outside. Be careful not to get caught. And I'm walking around in the castle. Taking steps, and I'm taking... Ooh! How'd you see me, dude? There's no way he saw me. How did Twink even, like, hide from that? And how did they not see the queerly exit right over here? Uh, they were talking stuff. We're gonna go this way. We gotta find stuff out about Tubba Blubba. That's super nice how they fast forward that part, actually. After you, after you do it once, like, it, it'll skip to the next one really fast. Um, I actually want to try to get all the way around to here. The Deep Focus Badge! Oh, look there! What a beautifully crafted treasure chest! Yes, do you like it? This is a mystery treasure chest that's been passed down through generations of my family here at the castle. Really? How mysterious! A mysterious treasure chest! That's right. This chest is connected to another mysterious treasure chest somewhere in the Mushroom Kingdom. They say you can put things in this chest and take them out of the other chest. Isn't that, well, mysterious? Yeah, wow, that's really cool! So where's the other treasure chest? Er, where is it? I know, you know, I can't remember. I'm gonna stick shit in this chest, though. Peace, nigga. Oh god, oh god. Ah, that was close. Is that the princess? No, it's facing the wall. Can't be the princess. This room will come in handy later on, too. I already know where I was supposed to go, I just wanted to check out the other two rooms for that very reason. Um... Princess Peach can't hack it! There are guards here too, probably lots of them, we'd better be extra careful. What the 
hell are they guarding if Princess Peach is in our room? Wee! YOLO! up there though how do we get up there uh actually i think i have to come that's when you get here with mario hey have you heard about master tubba blubba i heard a rumor that he loves eating ghosts uh ghosts huh master tubba tubba blubba he lives deep inside of forever forest doesn't he i think he's guarding one of the star spirits right now yeah master tubba blubba lives in the castle at the top of gusty gulch I heard that somewhere near his castle is a mansion and a village full of ghosts. I guess Master Tubba Bubba sometimes goes there to catch booze. And then when he catches one, he gobbles it down starting with his head. <sighs> oh man, that's so scary. Now I won't be able to walk to the bathroom alone at night. And I'm gonna have nightmares. I know it. Why'd you tell me? I also heard that Master Tubba Bubba is invincible. They say he can't be hurt. Nobody can even scratch him. He might even be stronger than Kid Bowser. Stronger than King Bowser? Come on, that's impossible. Even Master Tubba Blubba has to have some weak points. It's just common sense. Yeah, you may be right. There's another rumor that Tubba Blubba's got a secret that would ruin him if it ever got out. I bet it's about his past. I heard he didn't used to be as strong at all. Shh! What if Tubba Blubba hears you? He might gobble you up! Still, what do you think his secret could be anyway? I don't know. No one knows. That's why it's a secret, you halfway. Twink. It sounds like Tubba Blubba has a weak point after all. If only we could find out. Huh? Hey, did you did you hear something just now? Gasp! Do you think someone knows we're goofing off in here? Oh, whoa! Princess Peach, how'd you get here? I'm sorry to do this, but you have to go back to your room right now. Oh, no! Twitch is fuck bitches get money. Also, thank her for taking me out of there. It's like, jeez. Thank you, Mario. At last, I can head home to Starhaven. My name is Mamar. So nice to meet you in person. You've still got a long way to go, but I just know you can save Princess Peach. I'll do my best to help you. Here's a present for you. Mario Star Energy goes up to two! Mario can now use Lullaby, a new Star Spirit power. With Lullaby, you can make all enemies fall asleep. Call on me when times are bad. Believe in this, Mario. My powers are strong. I'm a Star Spirit after all. Mm -hmm. Our powers are growing all the time. Keep up the good work, Mario. You must save the other Star Spirits as soon as possible. For now, I'm going back to recover in Star Haven. Who knows how my dear old Star Haven is faring without the Star Rod? Goodbye, Mario. I'm off. Way. Alright, well, let's heal up. Assuming we haven't already been healed. Um. So yeah, basically at this point, all we really have to do is go back and return. Leave me alone, Pokies. First things first, we have to return to Colorado. I did not mean to do that, I just want the box. Ah, whatever. Ready? Boop. We're already nearly halfway to the next level. We just got the last one. Well, that boss did give us like 39 experience. We got a fire flower. I'm gonna go through all these boxes real quick because items are rad. No, that's not an item. I'm super good at like pressing A and stuff. Oh, and by the way, guys, starting in the previous episode, I actually went out and bought um. 
component cables. Which means it's now, instead of being 480p, it's now 720p? The quality should be a lot better at least. Um... Oh jeez. Yeah, the quality should be a ton better. I'm gonna go this way. I have to find Colorado. We should be around here somewhere. Yes. We have to give him the thing we found in the last episode. They have a genie lamp right there. What? What? Ill luck! No clues about the ruins! I'm getting so frustrated, I just might have to give up the excavation for now. How very sad. I say... Mario, that artifact you hold in your hand. It looks like... It looks quite important. Do my eyes deceive me, or is that a clue to dry dry ruins? Mario, old chum, I beg of you, could you possibly part with it? Of course, dude, whatever. Cheers, Mario! Smashing, really, old boy! Soon now, the mysterious dry dry ruins will rise from the sands that conceal them. As a brilliant archaeologist, I say it must be so! I suppose a thank you gift is an order, eh, old boy? Here you go, then. You know a bit of the magic of the desert. Cherish the memory, old boy. I wonder what would happen if I kept all the things that people wanted back. Like, uh, Goom Goombar Goombarla's doll. Heal up real quick. Snag a save box just in case. Now it's time to head way back with Goombay. I mean, not Goombay. Goombay. Uh, Bombay. We might have to battle this dude. I'm not completely sure if we have to battle this dude. But he might actually come through and be like, yo, I want a battle, because, like, I think you're Mario. Hey there, hold up a sec, partner. Just a darn minute, I've seen you somewhere. Yep, very familiar. You look a lot like this fellow Mario who's on Bowser's wanted poster. Now give up, what's your name? I could say Luigi, but I'm gonna say Mario this time. Mario? Well, I'll be. If you're Mario, I reckon I've gotta bust you up. Uh, I'm gonna change the Goom Mario and get his scoop real quick. We're gonna find out who this guy really is. This Buzzar, he guards Mount Rugged. Wow, that's one big bird. Max HP is 40. Attack power is 3, defense power is 0. If you get caught in the clutches of his sharp claws, you'll lose 4 HP. Try to wriggle out of his grip. His special attack is flapping his wings to flapping his wings to create wind. This attack damages your party members too. But he was hatching eggs, wasn't he? Is it possible that he's really a she? I wonder. And oh goddamn. I guess that means I can't switch. Yeah, okay. Well, I did just pick up a fire flower. Which would be pretty handy right now. It actually doesn't even do that much damage. And we have to do this so bad, come on! Oh, fucking kidding me. That was messed up, man. That was messed up. I was so fucking close. Um, I'm gonna do a power bounce. Fuck! I hate that shit. And, uh, Bombay is gonna come out and basically blow up his shit. Damn, dude, I don't know what you're gonna do. Three, four, five, six. Six damage isn't too bad, not too shabby. Oh, because he's in the air. Are you kidding me? We gotta bring out Paracarry. Gotta hit it so fast, so fast! Come on, come on, come on! Yes! It's like the scariest one, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm doing pretty good, I would say. And that does five damage. We're doing a pretty impressive amount of damage to this dude right now, so we shouldn't have any problem dealing with him. Two, three, four, five. Wait, did five? What? Maybe I messed up. Hmm? 
All right, next turn I should be able to get rid of him. I only have two left, though. Hold on. All right. Uh, I have a lime. Is it even worth it? I want to keep the lime. I think the lime is cool. I need stronger boots. That's what I need. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Ah, oh, so close! God damn. I hate this one too. I hate all his all his things are so A dependent. It's A L now. Alright, here we go. Finish him, finish him, finish him. Oh, ooh, kill him. That wasn't bad, we got a lot of star points for that, and I didn't die, so... Yow, I got whooped! What about his eggs, I wonder? I'm gonna go down here and look for a healing block. Is there none, though? There's none. I hate those guys, leave me alone, please! Oh god. I already got the seed. So we should be good with that. I'm also pretty sure we already got all this stuff. Right? Oh god. Leave me alone. Oh god. Way, dude. Ow. Meeny peeny peeny weeny. I think Paracarry may be my favorite right now just because of her ability to hit flying things. But Bombay is over overall the most important ever. Oh god, oh god. You're bum rushing me, man. Hit that save real quick. Um, I'm gonna go for the whack-a-mole dude, real quick. whack a -ow! Uh -huh. I only did that dude come out, I hate him! Right, we're almost back. It takes forever. We can pick up some more piggies on our way back, too. Oh, we can get this, too. I think there's a letter over here, actually. Oh, no, it's one of these! We can't upgrade Bombat twice until we go to the island thing, I think. Um... Dizzy Shell is probably our best bet. I think he's my second favorite. I only like Paracarry because of his ability to lift us into the air. As I just said, like, two hours ago. Two seconds ago. Two whatevers ago. Alright, well, there's a million save boxes everywhere. We finally finished this thing. Now we get to go back and go towards the other one. On the ball for Toad Town! If we play our cards right, in this episode alone, we should be able to get all the way to the Booze Mansion. Is this really necessary? Oh, I can click ahead, I didn't even know. 
Look at my piggies! Ow! Oh, Christ, that's very shabby. Um... Doo-doo-doo-doo-doo. Oh, piggy! 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 Piggy pig! Ooh, look at that one! You just can't go in there or they'll run away and I hate it. We got two flashing pigs now. One more, one more. Oh my god, look at that one! That's awesome. Alright, um... I already got that dude. There's nothing else to do. We can go really quick here. I don't want to spend too much time in Toad Town, but uh, I'd like to see what she can make with a Wackus Bump. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm so sorry, the recipe- Oh, I thought you could cook a whack a bump We got a mistake. Which isn't awful. 1 HP and 1 FP. Which is better than, like, the dried shroom, so... Let's try lime. I'm sure she can cook with lime. I know she can make a fried egg out of the egg, but we ate the egg. Unfortunately. Alright, I think lemon makes tasty tonic chip. Alright, well, uh... Tasty Tonic looks great and all. I know where I'm supposed to go, so don't even worry about me. I just want to come up here and check the badges real quick. Are those still the same? Let's, um... Let's get Dodge Master. And then next time we'll see if he gets a new badge. After every like level, we'll check and see if he has a badge. Let's see what Dodge Master actually requires, because that sounds like a pretty decent badge. Power Bounce is actually ass, so we're gonna go with Dodge Master instead. I don't even know what it does, but we're going with it. It'll help in the long run, I'm sure. Ugh! But just now, a ghost passed right in front of me. You, you saw it, didn't you? I'm not the only one! Over there! No, no, the other way! It went into the forest. Mario's just like, the fuck you tripping on, nigga? M -m -m Mario, this madness has to go and has to will you g go into the forest and see what's going on? I'm ashamed to say it's my job, but I just can't go. I'm too frightened of ghosts. Look, <laughs> please, I'm begging you. Yeah, whatever, pussy. What up? I also love I love every single level of this game, so I'm just gonna say I love this one as well. Obviously, I love the first one. Obviously, I love the second one. This one is... They're all so memorable in their own way. They're so unique, you know what I mean? Pardon me, sir. Would you happen to be Mario? How do you do, sir? My master wishes to see you. If you would, please call on us at the mansion on the far side of Forever Forest. My master would also like me to add that she has in her possession important news regarding the Star Spirits. Please make haste. We shall await your arrival with a warm welcome. And if you don't come, we'll get you! Boo! That's right, motherfuckers! I'm trying to think if I should end it here. I don't want to end it here. We're gonna make it all the way to the uh, all the way to the castle. This is chapter three, the invincible tubba blubba. 
Taba blaba. All right, there's like a 50% chance of me stopping it here. And a 50% chance of me keep going. I'm just going to stop it here. Because I like opening with the chapter openings. And I feel like having the, the little... All right, this is basically my pattern is two episodes per chapter and then the one episode for the in-between chapters. So essentially, we're just going to end it here. Um, thanks, guys, for watching. If you know anything about Tubba Blubba, you know that he is my favorite. He's not actually my favorite. They're all my favorite. But I love all of them. Um, Tubba Blubba is a lot of fun, though. And this is now in HD. So if you're looking at it in HD, if it actually looks better, please let me know if it looks better than the previous ones. I'm not completely sure. I compared it to the last one, and it looks better. But at the same time, it looks like it could be equal. But I think it's definitely a lot better. Like, more HD, you know? Okay, so, uh... Basically, we're going to end that there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love all of you. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.